Uh, my name is Sandra Cassiano, and uh, crossing guard, been a crossing guard for the city of Chicago for 24 years and five months. Hi, I'm Donna Wright. I've been waiting tables for like 34 years now, uh, many different places. Right now I work here at the Golden House. I train all the people <laughs> at my intersection to smile and speak and wish a good day. So they may get my one smile. I get like 50 or 100 every single day. People just come in, they've had a hard day at work, you know, they're, they come in and they order, you know, they seem kind of grumpy, but you know, when you're happy with them and you serve them nicely, you know, by the time they leave, they feel good. And they've, a, a few of them kind of commented to me too, said, you've made my day, you know, you've changed me. You know, I'm in a much better mood because you're just so, you know, you know, I sing while I work. They just, I'm just happy. I don't know, I'm a happy person. <laughs> Can't help myself. <laughs> I hear the conference is going so well. I expect you to kick ass in the meeting, Tom. You gotta woo those bastards. Make them keel, make them squeal. Yes, sir. I'm waiting for them in the conference room right now. Tom, you gotta make them want you. Make them fucking beg for us. I woke up in the park. Oh my. I gotta run, Bill. Thanks for the advice. <gasps> oh my god, that's the cutest dog ever. I'm like totally taking him home with me. Well, I don't know about that, but I'm sure I could find a place for you. Oh, okay. You like him? Shut up, Allie. Let me have a compliment. Oh, I would dip this kid in honey mustard if I could. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. This one, mm, not so much. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I need to get going. Oh, it's nice to meet you. <gasps> See you later, Tiger. Yeah! Ouch! Yes! Yes, that felt great. I could tell you liked it a lot. Well, come back and hang out with us. <laughs> I want your pants. My nipple hurts. I loved it. <laughs> yeah. Can we talk about her pants, though? I love those, too. They're super cute. Dog pants. <laughs> that's uh, crazy. That was the craziest thing that's ever happened. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, do you want a shot? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, sure. What's your name? I'm Tom. I'm Allie. I'm Jonathan. Oh. We're your dream girls, Tom. Yes, we'll make, make you happy. happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he hates us. Hey, you should come hang out with us. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, what the heck. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. He's DTH. He's down to hang. I totally fuck Elmo. Ew. Yeah. You're disgusting. All right, you're judging me? Uh, yeah. I like redheads. Oh, so gross. I like redheads. Sorry. Yeah, but he's like covered in hair. Like top to bottom. There's no better option. I I'm so lost. Why would I ever think about fucking Elmo? Jonathan likes to ask the weirdest fuck kill Mary. Yeah, she likes to give the worst answers always. Okay. Try me. Kill fucker Mary, Elmo, Casper the Friendly Ghost, live action version. Or Lil' Kim. Oh, Lil' Kim's in this? I saw a spark just now. Yeah, but I can't stick with her my whole life. I could, I could stick with Casper, though. I could marry Casper. See, that's what I said. What did you say? Lil' Kim. I mean, she's hot. And Elmo's really weird. Like, I don't know if we're talking about a puppet hole or a puppeteer hole. Ew. <laughs> puppet hole. I think you're... All right, what is your final answer? Mary Casper, fuck little Kim and kill Elmo. Santa.
right, let's set up my place. Yeah, let's okay. smoke all your weed. I haven't done this in a long time, and it's not very good. <laughs> Jesus. You know, as much as I hate to say it, this is not bad. Thanks. <laughs> really? Yeah. This is really good, Tom. You guys ready to go? Mm, fine. But I'm taking one of these for the road. She's gonna find it, I know. Thank you. So, you guys just interview random people? Yeah, uh, random people are the best. They have the most interesting stories, and if they're willing to talk, we definitely want to hear it. Let's be honest, you talk to anybody who will give you the time of day. It's so annoying. What's the hardest part of your job? I have some pain because I've fallen off my you know, bike a couple of times, and hurt my back and knee, broke my knee, and all this type of stuff. And I have noticed that literally, I can have so much pain, I can hardly get ready to come to work in the morning. But when I get to my intersection and start having those interactions with those people, no pain, no pain. It's a, sometimes I wonder if it's all in my mind. Do you ever get really personal with your customers? Through the years, customers have learned some of my business because when something really bad happens to you and you're working like the next day, you know, you shed a tear, sometimes you got to mention why, but you got to try to leave your trouble at home and just keep smiling, you know. I mean, it's hard sometimes. That is one of, one of the tougher things about waiting sometimes, too, because if you've had a really bad week, you know, a death, you know, or just any thing, bad things that can happen, you still got to go in and serve people. It's not their fault that you've had a bad week, so... What's your philosophy on life? Just accept that you are who you are, you know, and just try to, I don't know, teach others maybe a little bit at the same time by example, you know? I mean, we all do learn from each other one way or another. What's your best piece of life advice? Open your mind and accept something else. And and regard people as who they are, what they are, whether they're from the lowest, sleeping on them, sleeping in the alley, whatever, where they way up there in the King's Castle, to be able to relate to all of them. And um, just be a peacemaker. Be a peacemaker. Don't let people, um, don't let people, don't let people dictate what you're gonna do. So, when's your movie gonna get done? Yeah, Ali, when are you gonna finish this? When's the neighborhood going to stop changing? I don't know. Look, I'm confident that you guys can get this done. We just have to keep listening. No, you have to keep listening. This is your project. Don't mind him. The project's going to be fine. He just gets like this sometimes. Today's been one of the best days I've had in, I don't know, a really long time. It was really fun hanging out with you too. You really opened up. Thanks. Oh, uh, here, you should keep this. Okay. Come on, bitch, I'm hungry. I'm coming. I will cut you.